When, under Mother Imelda Fisher, the Convent Academy building on Ridge Boulevard, Chicago, was enlarged in 1924-25, the debt on the new building was so huge that it was deemed inconceivable to increase the debt in order to finish off the interior of the chapel. After promising to dedicate a shrine in honor of St. Walberg if she would assist the two sisters assigned to find the monies for this, sisters Celestine Fisher and Geraldine Stock, they did succeed in raising enough to furnish altars, prayer stalls, and stained glass windows. In Thanksgiving, Sister Celestine designed an altar for an alcove near the back of the chapel. On the center of the wall, St. Walberg was pictured. To left, Mr. Steinhage painted representations of her father, King Richard, and her missionary brothers, Bishop Willibald and Abbot Wunibald. In 1995, the shrine was again renovated. The Steinhage mural at the back of the altar was replaced. Artist Joseph Ramirez placed a framed canvas to cover the original area, no longer viewed clearly. His mural depicts Wahlberg as a noble woman in early Gothic dress, no habit. In the Middle Ages, Wahlberg was depicted either as a virgin or as a queen. In representation of St. Walburga, dated 1070, Walburg's head is covered with the veil of the consecrated virgin. A distinctive religious habit did not yet exist. The central portion of the picture suggests Walburg's light miracle when a stream of light pierced the darkness and shone through Walburg, who, as the legend has it, didn't radiate her own light, but the Lord's. Legends often have a kernel of truth in them, and we read that Wahlberg was a sensitive, patient, and forgiving person who must have radiated kindness and brightness. In the decade between 740 and 750, Boniface called Wahlberg to come to Germany to do missionary work. In the lower left picture, we see Wahlberg receiving the cloak for her final departure from her home and England. Above the departure scene, we see her in a medieval boat on her way to Germany. The upper right segment of the painting shows Wahlberg's relics being brought to Eichstätt from Heidenheim. The veneration of St. Walberg began with this translation of her relics. And finally, the lower right pictures the shaft underneath her grave, and above it, a portion of her stone sarcophagus. From here, the Walberg oil seeps at specific times every year, entirely independent of atmospheric conditions. It is a pure liquid, which is called oil, simply because of its healing qualities. Year after year, it begins to flow at about the beginning of October. First, the stone becomes moist, then wet. Droplets form and trickle down the sides. The liquid collects in a dish at the bottom of the shaft. In December and January, the drops flow more copiously. Then, gradually, they grow fewer and vanish. February 25th is the day Walburga died, and at the end of February, the flow of oil usually stops. During the other months of the year, the stone sarcophagus is dry. Windows the windows were designed by Sister Celestine Fisher, who was a gifted calligrapher. Her work was comparable to that done by scribes in the Middle Ages. The windows are like the illuminated pages of a medieval book. Each represents one of the traditional hours of the divine office, which 
was the official prayer of priests and religious over the centuries. The large illuminated letter on each is the first word of the opening hymn of that hour. Mantons, the night office, represents church, the spouse of Christ. Lauds, dawn, angels singing in union with creatures of earth. Prime, Mary holding Christ, light of the world, ushering in a new day of world's redemption. Terse, the hour proper to the Holy Spirit. Sext, noontime, angel hovering midway between earth and sun, holding a scroll. Peace, a Benedictine slogan surrounded by thorns, meaning self-denial and strength are needed. Known, the ninth hour, the hour of Christ's death, the commandments referred to in Psalm 118, which is said at this hour. Vespers, features the Magnificat, Mary's visit to Elizabeth, Compline, in the Wahlberg Shrine window. No names of benefactors are noted in our windows. Rather, gifts of the Holy Spirit are pictured, gifts which are the reward for charity. Many donors contributed, and we pray for them all. <laughs>